Oh, this is ugly. Hold it. Keep it. Come on. Oh my gosh. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Had to run really wide there and that man lost it. I'm gonna let up. What's up everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Forza Motorsport 7 with the full Fanatec rig. We did switch it to the Alcatara suede and black energy innovations wheel. We have our hydraulic handbrake. We are running the car in sequential today. Um, kind of like a dog box race transmission. We are in one of my old faithful S13, about 660 horsepower. We're in an open drift meet up here and it looks like we are gonna be at Lime Rock. So maybe we can get some doors, have a little fun, kind of get ourselves acclimated to this Fanatec rig here on Forza More Sports 7. So we're just gonna go right into it. I'm looking for buttons here, but I know they're not there. Um, super excited, I have some th things that my buddy's 3D printing for me that will be going on this Fanatec rig here very shortly. So we'll see if we can't maybe get some doors with some of these guys in this session in RS13. And uh, it's gonna be a bit of a, maybe a shaky start with this uh, Fanatec here. So, cause I haven't adjusted really any settings. And we're just trying to send it how it is. And uh, I have no. Oh, there we go. I, I was quick. So we're just gonna send it and try and get acclimated to this first. Let's see how it feels. The shade in. Handbrake feels good. Force feedback does feel pretty good. This S13. One of my old faithful cars. There we go. So force feedback does feel very good on it right now. I have just adjusted mechanical trail up. I have no adjustments on the wheel. The wheel is pretty much just set to have uh, drift mode off. And uh, everything else is pretty much factory wheel settings here on the Fanatec base. Ooh. So we are actually um, doing a lot better than I thought I was going to on the first run out here in Forza 7 on the Fanatec rig. Like I said, we are running in sequential with clutch right now. Kind of just like my a dog box style transmission, but the ability to just flip it back and forth is so nice. So I think I'm going to wait a minute and see if I can't uh, get in to some tandems. Looks like this guy uh, wanted to wait up. So we're just gonna throw it in. I'm surprised he's still a ghost. Now he's unghosted. The curves don't really affect too, too bad. He lost it. That man's done. I think the gearing is probably a little bit too low. Don't want to be bouncing too, too high on that red line, but should probably adjust that gear ratio. But I'm trying to catch up with some of these guys' cars. So, so far, I've been having a lot of fun with this rig and uh, getting used to the new Fanatec. And uh, the feedback feels pretty amazing here in Forza 7. Got a little bit of a squeak. I think I need to uh, lubricate the pedals a little bit. I think uh, it came with some uh, grease, so I probably should need to... Uh, just throw some grease on there right now because uh, when I get off the gas, there's a bit of a squeak and a game glitch, but we're good. So, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all which you found in the description box below. I wanted to catch up that whole train, but I guess we're not going to. I don't know what this man's doing, but it looks like he's sending an S13 for some backwards entries. All right, well, we're gonna try and catch up to these other cars up here if we can, because they are running a drift train right now, and I want to be part of it. See if I can throw in some, uh, throw some doors in this S13. Decided to bring out a S13 instead of the ESDA VAT. May switch it up a little bit. Advantage of these open drift meetups. Don't hit tires. Don't hit tires. Oh well. I knew that was bound to happen sooner or later, so we are going to wait up 
see if I can't get in tandem with these guys. So, uh, so I don't think I'll be able to catch them up right now. So I'm going to try and uh, wait for them to come back around so that I can... Ugh! Now we got a bunch of uh, bunch of guys we can try and uh, throw down with. I say a bunch of guys, and now we're just throwing it in dirty. Hopefully this S13 can hang. Got a bunch of FD cars in here. Oh man, that FD. Oh, the force feedback is so much stronger when you hit grass in this car. It's kind of uh, overwhelming if you're not ready for it. Curbs don't violently shake the wheel like my G920 did. I don't know how I always end up getting in the lead of all these cars. But I always end up somehow getting in the lead. I kind of want them to go in front of me. Let's see if we can't follow this BRZ. Throw it in nice and deep. Hold our line. I don't think the gearing is right, but we will make it work here for today. Tandems with randoms. Oh, we got a... That looks like either Al Conadale's car or a Matfield's. That was a nice transition. Oh, I will take that. All right, man. Salt so down a little bit. That grass life, though. Oh, the snapback on this rim is so nice. Fan attack is just so quick, and it's just so nice until you go in the grass like that. Looks like we got another S13 up here. Got a fleet of cars behind us. Because just monging the straight, I'm gonna just get a flick entry it in. Somebody lost the pieces of their car. Excuse me, BRZ. Following this uh, S14. Maybe the BRZ will follow in on us. So if you guys keep wanting to see Forza more sports content and drifting, let me know down in the comment section down below. Hopefully do some open drift lobbies here very soon. And get a bunch of the TUS guys on as well. I really need to uh Oil that pedal. Oh, that was almost reverse entry. Thanks, buddy. Oh man. Listen hard. Try to save it. So it goes down. Run that nice and wide. Okay, VRZ, you can pass. Or well, we can cut that. We're gonna lose it. Thank you. So, definitely a big uh, change in how this feels on this Fanatec rig. Gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but we kind of got a, a good basic down right now here at Lime Rock. Oh, those guys beefed it out there, so we're just gonna run this. We got an S15 right behind us. Should that be fourth? See if we can't hold this out. Tires, 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 tires. I don't know where the other guys went. That was probably the smoothest I've ever gone into that section before. Oh, 
sure where these guys are. So definitely having a huge amount of fun here on the Fanatec in Forza Motorsport 7. Bit of a open drift session just to get my feet wet with this rig. This is a whole new wheel, whole new aspect, different feel, definitely different force feedback. But we are able to uh, get the slides for sure. It's a little bit more uh, friendly when it comes to uh, running the curb, unlike what G920 was. Grass is another thing right there. Let's kind of rip my hands out of my, uh, rip the wheel out of my hands, but we're good. Let's get that out in fourth. Huge reverse almost entry from die. That die paint scheme. We managed not to hit him. So all I wanted to do was manage not to hit that man. Got a bunch of S13s now. And S15s. It's an S chassis lobby. Alright, here we go. This is gonna be ugly. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is ugly. Hold it, keep it, come on. Oh my gosh, keep it, keep it, keep it. Had to run really wide there and that man lost it. How we're all still kind of surviving. I have no idea. Oh, Team Burst Pass on the S13. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have no idea how we survived that. Side swiped in the grass, not a good idea. Not on this rig. It's like shakes so much in the grass. Who we got behind us now? Oh, looks like we got Matt Fields paint. Got the drift vet behind us. Alright. See if these guys are gonna follow us. Oh my gosh. We managed to make it through. Don't ask me how. But we managed to make it through. Little door bang on that S13. Oh my god, I'm getting pushed from behind. Woo! This is a workout for sure. This is a bit more of a workout than it used to be on that G920. But it is so much fun. It's like this uh, S14 wants to rock. Oh, those guys died. Gonna ease out a little bit. All behind this S the Alcon L14. All in white. Put a white white on white tandems. See what we can do. Hopefully we can do something cool with this. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Oof, that wheel just snapped almost out of my hands. Yeah, the uh, feedback is much, much stronger on this right now. So if you guys whew, have noticed, it's a much more of a workout right now on this Vanatech than I'm used to with my uh, G920. So definitely going to be having to get used to this more. But we are getting some skids, having a little fun here in online session that's squeaking noise though. That needs to go.
Don't know what these guys are doing up here. They're just playing ping pong right now. Ping ponging each other into the walls. All right. So I think that might do it here for this episode. A little quick episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. Bit of a drift session. I need to uh, lube that pedal up here. So we're going to do one more huge entry in here if we can before we end this episode off. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of you found in the description box below. That's not going to work. <laughs> so I think we're going to end it there. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys next time.